Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Inquisitor where we are gonna be on the booth clinic. So be as much healthier than water. So have you fill is this blood and enjoy yourself. So have you fill um, monastic beer with herbs and honey, one silver angle, excellent beer brewed by the friars of the Bene Benedictine Abbey cast of Königstein, intense herbal taste with a subtle hint of honey, yokel beer strong and thick. Once a ranger, an exquisite beverage made in the tiny village of Tignets in Brut, in a brewery founded by local peasants, very cloudy, get, gets to you as quickly as the beauty of your young less wood. Liliana beer with herbs and blossoms, once a ranger, brewed in honor of the Queen of the Mummers, parade the beautiful Liliana, bold taste with distinctive floral notes, perfect for less, but will please pellets of men as well. Yep, um, back in the, so to say, early days, right? Beer or alcohol was better because through the either distilling of the more heavy alcohol and through the alcohol, <laughs> it was actually cleaner than water, right? That's the reason why... Okay, that's bloody burning, that's cool. And that's the reason why in the 40 or during the Industrial Revolution people were drinking, so to say, already in the morning because it was better back in the day than water. So it is at least said, right? Anyhow, luckily it is now today, <laughs> at least under current scientific view not necessary to drink right instead of water to drink alcohol instead of water that's what i wanted to say anyhow go to the clinic a visit with the medic the mayor did not dare question ingva the fear of confronting the cardinal kept his hands tight but i have so much but i have so much qualms i will gladly pressure the medic will do I do think we have not yet been inside the clinic, right? Oh boy. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, just a cutscene, right? No conversation needed. They killed people for whatever reason. So let's see what's going on here. Do oh, hello. There are bad boys, right? I don't precisely know why and what is going on here. Yep, and the combat, I can tell you that, feels as stiff as it looks like. Said that already. These are good guys. And I guess the quest with the blind monk is over, right? Yeah, I think the sound of birds cheering, so to say, 
So it has a very very calming. It calms me down. On the one hand, obviously, it sounds, in my opinion, very, very beautiful. On the other hand, it is very, very calming and, you know, giving me a nice warm feeling. And obviously, it feels of springtime, summertime, of warmer days, cooler days. That's just a feeling I have. Anyways, um, we back from that, right? We are now gonna go on and to the clinic we move it makes sense that it is beneath or under or at the cathedral makes kind of sense so i would like to know why we had to fight anyways what do we have here let's find out okay find out where ingvar is Hello, brother. Where can I find the medic? I don't know, master. I'm new around here. All right. Thank you for the conversation. What's this? Uh, no. Okay. I thought there was something else. Have you seen Ingvar, brother? I need to speak to him. He is probably at his place. He lives above the clinic. Look for the door with the rod of Asclepius on it. Okay, find his apartment. We'll do. We can have one more conversation with the lady. I'm looking for the venerable Ingvar. I have not seen him today. And I thought she... Okay, it was just the brother. All right, okay. I thought the lady had something to say to us too. Anyway, anyways, then not. Then we are gonna get out and move on. And we'll see. There's definitely one note we have not yet gone through. So we do it now. So the most common ailments plaguing our patients are parasites and genitile Mycosis both seem with a large dose of certainty to come from the local whorehouse. The spread of these diseases has to be attributed to our honey chaps who can't keep it in their pants and readily plow every partisans in sight. Fortunately, the cholera epidemic has mercifully spared our town. You should also be wary of quality of the consumed water as it usually contains parasites harmful to the stomach. Whenever Medicines and herbs are in short supply. Monks worse in the surgical art of our bloodletting. The procedures carried out regularly and on a fully scheduled basis. When this too fails, the valiant monks are left with one last weapon in the battle. For the patient's health, it is prayer. Then it is for the Christ's ventral to decide whether the poor man survives and returns to his children or dies miserably as many have before him. But after all, we should remember that times are tough and not every one is fortunate enough to see old age. Many will fade from this world, but their misfortune will bring wealth to others for the casket needs to be made and corpses need to be uh, properly buried. That's very, very dark, right? For after all, we should remember that times are tough and not everyone is fortunate enough to see old age. Many will fade from this world, but their misfortune will bring wealth to others. That is very, very harsh, right? There. Misfortune will bring wealth to others. Oh my god. But what would you have expected in this world, right? So I am not that certain where the apartment could be. That is it's blue here. Ah okay, I then I'm just gonna take the wild guess that the different riders have different colors, right? Oh, come on. So, find the apartment. One of the monks suggested that the medic might be at home. It is worth looking into the doors of his apartment, bear the mark of the rod of. Exclepius. Okay, some sort of rot, right? That is something I can work with. Cult. 
Okay, good. So this might take a little bit, by the way, to find the right house. His apartment. Because, theory, I mean, yes, this is part of the cathedral, right? But his apartment could be everywhere, right? Oh, boy. I would sometimes like to know, after Rich, how they come up with deciding this is being displayed and this you need to um, search. Hospital, library, cemetery, apartments are not being displayed. Nice. So this Life is... is Clepius. It has to be in the first place. Above the clinic. Mm-hmm. Now, um, what do we have here? I think a lot of to read. Who would have expected? On the other hand, it makes sense, doesn't it? Ingvar likes to drink, just like any other. He didn't finish his dinner. A secret passage. The catacombs. I see Inquisitor! Tis true. Kill the horse, son! I mean, not because of these dudes, but imagine that your house or your apartment, your room where you live has a secret passage to catacombs. Oh boy, would I hate that at night. I, I mean, not that I do believe in ghosts or everything, but still, it would be a weird feeling for me. But anyways, I'm not judging at all. Okay, that was quick. So left or right? I again, I'm gonna go left. There must be something valuable in the catacombs, since they're patrolled by the cardinal soldiers. Can go deeper. Oh boy. I'm probably gonna oversee the... Or oh, maybe not. I just want to say I... And you shall find. I want to say I'm gonna oversee the important part. Search the... Uh, oh boy, laboratory. Okay, will do. Will do. Something doesn't add up. Oops. But you guys, that is actually right now gonna bring us to the end of today's episode. We will go through here, um, first of all, well, we are gonna search Ingvar's laboratory. The laboratory is reminiscent of an alchemist in ho in hovel. The reeks of, it reeks of forbidden magic. If I find evidence that it's been practiced, that he's been practicing, I'll have him in my grasp. And that, you guys, is right now then gonna bring us to the end of today's episode, as you know it, I, as usual, really really thank you for watching if i guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then i wish you all a wonderful day stay frosty